Hello everyone and welcome to Kingdom Special Forces YouTube channel. My name is Toby and well, um, I was just telling the crew here that we had to tell Dr. Phil to go home because, well, we just simply don't have time for in-depth analysis. I mean, we just, the ship just got wrecked um, and, you know, they just need to dust it off and move forward. You know, I know that might sound a little bit cold, but, you know, Jesus did the same thing. You know, there was a point at which he just, you know, stopped everybody and uh, said, you know, I, I just, I'm going to wash your feet. Now, there were some different replies to that. You know, some people are like, oh, no, Jesus, don't wash my feet. You know, they're stinky. You know, sometimes we got some stinky stuff we got to wash off, but it's about washing off where you just been. And it's not about an over analysis. Now, Peter, he jumped up and said, oh, wash all of me. You know, he wanted the full analysis. And, you know, there's a balance there. You know, we need to to deal with some immediate issues right now, but not go too in depth because God's going to work it all out in the end anyway. And so, but sometimes we got to sit down and, and deal with some immediate issues. And, you know, the immediate issue that you need to realize is that the ship's wrecked. You know, um, you're not going to fix the ship. You got to move forward. And so you're going to get stuck in scenarios in your mind, rerunning what you could have done, what you should have done. You get the shoulda, coulda, woulda rerun. And, uh, you know, if I wouldn't have done this, if I wouldn't have done that, um, you know, you're going to get rerun on a rerun on fixing the ship. And you got to realize that there is a hope set before you. You know, the Bible says that Jesus suffered what he suffered because of a hope that was set before him. There is a hope. There is a hope for your future. I don't care how bad it is. I don't care how bad the ship is wrecked. You serve you serve the living God. And he can fix the ship. And if you don't serve the living God, start serving him. He can fix the ship. He can not fix it, but he can give you a new one. He doesn't have to fix the old one. But you have to move forward in a hope. And that, if you don't have a hope ahead of you, then you start rerunning in your mind, well, if I would have got on another ship, with another captain, this wouldn't happen. Or, you know, Mr. Howell might be thinking, you know, I wouldn't have gone bankrupt if I wouldn't have got on this ship. You know, Ginger could be, you know, thinking, you know, um, my career, my career just went down the tubes. I gave up my career and everything to get up. She's all thinking about that. You know, maybe Gilligan's thinking, oh, my goodness, uh, what could I have done? I mean, you get stuck in those reruns, and, and we all do sometimes. I have. But there's a point that there is a hope set before you. You've got a sequel coming, guys. Gilligan's Island, you've got a sequel coming. God's got something better for you ahead. In the end, and this is a spoiler alert, but Gilligan and Skipper, you, uh, you get rescued off the island, and then they do another sequel where you come back to the island because you like the island because there was purpose on the island. There is purpose where you're at right now. There is peace where you're at right now, and there is hope where you're at right now. The shipwreck might have been Skipper losing control of the ship, but God never lost control. There is purpose where you're at. There's a plan, and there is a hope set before you. And, you know, Dr. Phil, before he left, he said, you know, in the little bit that I did and the ones that I talked to, um, there is some bitterness towards the Skipper. And so in moving forward, you got to forgive the skipper. you got to deal with your skipper issues and make a choice to forgive the skipper and understand that he was in the same storm that you were in and that, you know, he's human. And so anyway, I'm going to talk about that real story. It's in the Bible. It's in my next segment. I'm going to talk about a real story about a guy who got mad at the skipper and got shipwrecked. And, well, it turned out good. So join me. Before I leave, though, I'm going to ask you this question. Do you think Jesus could forgive Hitler? If you want to find out that answer, join me in the next segment. God bless you. He's with you. And there is a hope set before you. So join us here each week, my friends. You're sure to get a smile from 
Seven stranded castaways here 